Dapper. Let me just. Why are we still here? Oh, sevens for your lack of suck. Every night. I don't. I don't see how there's a way that this one's not an asshole. There's. Am I the asshole for asking for more money for my car? So I, 28M, offered to sell my RAV4 that has 100,000 miles on it in January to my brother and his wife. They have a baby and a beat-up Honda Civic as well as a Scion with way too many miles on it. They shared they'd be car hunting this year. I offered to sell it to them for what Canva offered, which was 14,005, and they agreed to it right away. The problem was that my wife and I still hadn't picked out our replacement car. So they'd check in every week or so, but we weren't ready. In the end, we decided to hold on to the car until our road trip to Disney this past week. I checked Carvana again, and they offered me more, this time 16.5. I texted my brother, telling him he could have it, but we would need to match Carvana's new offer. He responded saying that they're not haggling, and they've been putting off buying a car for months because they thought they had an agreement and were waiting on us. They called me an asshole for stringing them along for three months and then asking them for $2,000 more. I'm just trying to do what is right by my two kids and one on the way. No, you're fucking not. You're being an asshole. Done. Easy. This has big landlord energy. Am I the only one? I bet if the value went down, they wouldn't be offering to reduce the price. Doodles, you're right. Easy. That's an easy hole right there. Easy asshole. Done. Next. You're a fucking asshole. Now, do we even want to read comments? Agreed and give me a break trying to do right by your kids. You do right by your kids by teaching them how to be an ethical man. Yes! You do right by your kids by teaching them how to be ethical. Snaps! Snaps! You are doing shit for your kids here. Get shit on your ass. Snaps for holes. Snaps for holes. We ready? Snaps for holes. Snaps for holes. <laughs> I've got to fucking read this one. Oh, Jesus fuck. All right. Am I the asshole for telling my niece not everyone is religious? I don't trust like that. Uh-huh. I don't trust like that. Damn, we've got 20.5K on not the asshole. Holy shit. Oh, it's nice and short even. All right, here we go. Am I the asshole for telling my niece not everyone is religious? Went to dinner at a family member's house. My niece was there and said we need to pray before we eat. I told her not everyone prays, so she said her mom told her if you don't pray, you are going to hell. I said I don't believe in any of that and that other people have different beliefs. It's okay to believe in something, but not okay to try and force it on other people. Now her mom is mad at me that I told her that. Am I the asshole? Yeah, that, oh, that was easy. That was easy as fuck. Yeah, not, not the asshole. Done. I think I think the gold here will be in the comments. Of course. Okay, first comment here. Of course, someone who threatens someone with hell is going to be angry with you for saying it doesn't exist. This awful parent has no other way to control her child. And yes, the child deserves to know about reality, not the asshole. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're right. The mother is the asshole, actually. Need some people to start going to church. I don't want them in hell with me. <laughs> Okay. Did we dick the dicky? I think so. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. This one might be spicy. Am I the asshole? I want my son to stop playing sports. Sounds nice and innocent, right? Am I the asshole? I want my son to stop playing sports. I don't trust like that. <laughs> we never do. This already sounds controlling. Sounds like a son might not be texting back later in life. We'll see. 
We'll see. The use of I want, sus. Let's see. All right, here we go. Fake account. We're off on a great start, huh? I, 42M, have one son with my ex-wife. We have been divorced for nine years. She has full custody. I get him every other weekend. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We, we don't know. We don't know. My issue is that he has played soccer and bowling for years. And here it is. It has interfered with my time. He seems to have something every Saturday. I asked his mom if he can take a break. She told me if I wanted him not to play, I have to tell him. So I called my son. He is 13. He is 13. I told him that him playing sports is taking too much of my time. Plus, I don't like that he has broken two bones and countless bruises and scrapes. Not the manipulation. Shut the fuck up. I'm afraid of people will think he is abused. This is, this is just, this is just manipulation. Just two weeks ago, he showed up with three cuts on his legs. When I asked his mom, she was like, who knows? He is always out and about. So after I told him, he basically said he wants to keep playing that soccer as his favorite thing and bowling is fun too. He basically told me I never go anyway, so it's no big deal. Give me some fucking hyper snaps in the fucking chat! Yeah, you fucking get it, kid! You fucking get it! You tell him all! Now he is right, I never played sports, so I don't get the fun. I called his mom and said he wants to play, but I won't contribute anymore. I did say again that I don't like the idea of him playing. He has broken two bones. I did tell her I may consider talking to a lawyer. She laughed. Am I the asshole? <laughs> oh, we ready for some comments? Yes, the asshole. Your 13-year-old son likes sports, and instead of being there and supporting his interest, you are pouting and asking him to quit something that's good for him. Instead of complaining, why don't you try showing some interest in your son's likes and be a supportive dad? OP should put the sport in supportive dad. <laughs> T. T. All you need to know is that he has fun, not you. Right. I don't get the fun, so you can't just. Yeah, just be proud of your son. I'm afraid people will think he is abused. Worst excuse ever. He may be now spending part of his time playing football, doing something that he likes with his friends. If you take that time from him, guess he won't be spending time with you because he will be mad. Good way of making him not like you. Yes, the asshole. Yeah. You're not worried about him being abused at all. Not even a fucking little bit. Don't even try to use that excuse. You're just being an asshole. You're just trying to control your son. You're just trying to take away something that he enjoys for your own selfish benefit. That's not what being a dad is about. Love and support your kids and their interests and nurture them. It ain't about you. Okay, I think we have time for one more. Time for a quickie, a quickie little asshole. We all, we all good for a quick asshole? A little hole is a treat, just a quick in and out? Yes, exactly. A quickie little in and out, yes. Ooh, 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 this one, this one smells tasty. <laughs> this one, ooh, 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 ooh. Am I the asshole for canceling the birthday party I plan to throw for my wife after what she did? That gotta be a clickbait title. We'll see. We'll see. <sighs> Am I the asshole for canceling the birthday party I plan to throw for my wife after what she did? I, M36, remarried after my late wife passed away. I have a son, 15. My current wife and I have been together for two years. She generally has a good relationship with my son, although they tend to have some disagreements from time to time. 
My son has a background in arts that involve wood. He used to help his grandfather with his woodworking and learn how to make handmade wooden items and use them as gifts. I planned a dinner party for my wife's birthday at a prestigious restaurant. The day before the party, she was cleaning my son's room and saw what he got her for her birthday, and that was a wooden tree with mine, hers, and his name on it. That's so cute. That's so thoughtful. That's great. I would cry. She talked with him and told him while she thought it was a sweet gift, she asked that he don't bring it to the restaurant and give it to her there. Why? No idea. When my son told me this, I just had to call her out on it. She flat out said she thought the gift looked ridiculous and she didn't want it to be seen in that prestigious restaurant and in front of her guests. Oh my God. Nope, nope, stop talking, go to jail. Oh my God. I lost it on her and told her she should be ashamed of herself for saying this when my son was being sincere and thoughtful. She swore she wasn't ashamed nor embarrassed. Bull fucking shit. I got, I got to finish the post. Calm it. down. Banned. Calm down, baby. And even said she'll take the gift, but she simply didn't want it to be seen there. I told her not to worry about it since I decided to cancel the whole thing. She went off on me calling me unreasonable for outright canceling her birthday over such a trivial thing. This is not trivial. This is huge. This is huge for your relationship with your stepson. Your stepson hand carved you a gift and you said it looked ridiculous and didn't want to be caught in public with that gift that's so uh, getting off the rails again i refused to keep arguing but she threw a fit about how i ruined her birthday and made her lose respect for me and my promises my son kept the gift since she left the house two days ago and her mom has been chewing me out for my decision and calling me an asshole for treating her daughter like this. Oh, oh, the mom is in on it. <laughs> I wonder where she gets it from. Fuck the wife. Fuck the mother-in-law. Throw him in the trash. Get out of here. Anyway, it could be that it was not a big deal and I overreacted, but my son was feeling hurt by her request. Absolutely. You protect your son here. Top comment, holy hell, not the asshole at all. Your wife doesn't sound like a very kind person at all, but incredibly shallow and cruel. This calls for a what the hell is wrong with her? Absolutely. T. Snaps. Yeah, that wasn't an overreaction in the slightest. I don't care about your relationship at all. Someone went out of their way to hand carve you a gift with your whole family unit's name inscribed. And you said, that's disgusting. I don't want to be seen in public with it. That's fucked up. To me, this was such a big, a big moment for this son. Read into this. The son hand carved this gift and put your name with the rest of theirs on a tree. It's a family tree. This gift represented the inclusion of you into the family. This represented the son being like, yeah, you're my mom now. And you said it's disgusting and you are embarrassed to be seen with it. What a fucking asshole. No, OP, you are not an asshole. You're an incredible father. Throw the wife in the fucking trash. T, T. Community certified, not the asshole. Absolutely, absolutely. I got, I'm gonna read some of these comments because holy fuck. Not the asshole, thank you for having your sons back and all this, that means more than you know, absolutely. The whole thing where it was a prestigious restaurant is an excuse, right. Prestigious restaurant. Like, get the fuck over yourself. No one cares. Get over your own ego. <laughs> we got we got reservations at the the most prestigious, the most luxurious of fine dining establishments, Applebee's. <laughs> oh, touch ass consensually with that deep lore. Absolutely. Lubricating your insides one stream at a time. I didn't like that.
Cut it. Don't clip that. Don't don't worry about it. <laughs>